we met at a party. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she uh, was all of 23, but she looked 19. And then I realized, oh, she was not like other younger women. She was the one. And I just thought she was stunning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. And we've been at a concert. The second time was at a concert. Right. And I just thought that she seemed really, she seemed very competent and very, um... I liked the stunning better than competent. No, but she seemed like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she seemed like such a strong woman and she had just really good values. And it was really important to me to find someone who had the same values as I did. When we first got together, one of that criteria was that we both did want to have children. And um, so we ended up adopting. Uh, we have two boys. One's 11 and one is six. Both of the boys lived in foster care before they came to us. It changed our lives in such a, an amazing way. I mean, you know, Rich, when he came home, was pretty traumatized and pretty shell-shocked mm -hmm. at first just needing a lot, which was, we had a lot to give, so we were glad he really landed in the right place. He's, I mean, he's amazing now. I mean, he's very confident and very popular at school. He's got girls. Oh my gosh. We're like, okay, he's 11. Here we go. <laughs> but they're, they're both very funny and very friendly and, and sweet guys. Very sweet and sensitive. Look at six. Oh my God. Now you're going to spell a word. Let's see if we can sound this out. Uh oh, which neck, oh. which there are you looking for? Got the wrong there. T H E I R. Perfect. The biggest impact we've had for not being married and having that be a negative thing had to do with trying to adopt. You know, even when we were trying to adopt Richie the first time around, you know, we were in a very conservative county, and you know, the social workers would say, "You don't have a chance. You don't have a chance." You know, and but we just sort of plotted along and and through a miracle we got Richie mm -hmm. and then um, so we you know thought a couple of years later gosh we'd love to have another kid got involved with um, a what's it called foster family agency. foster family agency that's very open to placing with right. um, same-sex couples and so. was went through all the paperwork and all the rigmarole with them and get a call about a seven-year-old girl and decide you know though she's got some issues we think we can handle it and we can be the family for her so we say yes, her social worker's thrilled, the supervisor of the social worker's thrilled, our social worker's thrilled, everyone's happy. And then everything turned. <laughs> yeah, because the social worker called the little girl's foster mother who she was living with and she said, well, great news, I found this little girl a family. And the foster mother said, oh, great, tell me about them. And the foster mother said, or the, the social worker said, it's two moms. And the foster mother said, well, that's against God. That's a Absolutely sin, it's not. wrong, it's bad, and you can't place this child with them. Now, keep in mind that this foster mother was not willing to adopt this little girl, but she was not willing to let her leave her house to go to a same-sex household either. Just because of homophobia and just because our relationship isn't recognized right. as a valid relationship. That that little girl is not going to have a forever family. Right. It was a very difficult time for us. And Richie heard all of these things happening. He is very aware of what's going on. And so he hears people saying, you know, well, you can't take title this way or you can't sign on this way because you're not a husband and wife. And, you know, Richie would get so frustrated when he was little, he would say, what's the big deal? All they have to do is look at you and say, you're two moms. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what's the big deal? It's like two moms. So he sees the discrimination and that bothers him. I, I would just want people to recognize that we are a family just like any other family and we go through the same trials and tribulations and we have the same love and we have the same and we love our kids yeah and to and not have a lot to offer to not treat people as other just without even knowing who they are